What is going on guys? Wiser here and I have the pleasure of bringing you the recap of the One Hive 2.0 Family Christmas Spectacular Scrim. <laughs> it is in the books and it was awesome. Uh, first of all, let me just say uh, Christmas is now past. Happy holidays everyone. I uh, hope you had an awesome Christmas. I had an awesome Christmas as you can see. Uh, I got a webcam so now uh, you can look at my wonderful face while I give you uh, these awesome replays from just my awesome clan mates I have here. So it was really nice to see, um, you know, Invicta and Swarm and, and 2.0 just mix it up. Um, some awesome attackers we have in, in all three of our clans and um, really just, just went to show uh, how, how deep we are right now and just uh, the camaraderie too and um, kind of, you know, friendly chirping back and forth is just just awesome so just something some extra for us uh over christmas for us to have fun with because i know every single person in the war just had just had an awesome time um that being said let's check out the action here one hive invicta squeaks away with the 98 to 96 victory so good job gentlemen uh, i was on the 2.0 side uh you know it, it was just a crazy war right uh that we like i said we 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 were friendly with it uh some guys had some agreements you know uh, some of our new town hall tens were practicing um attacks on each other right so um but yeah it was just for fun right so we had a great time <clears throat> and some really nice attacks came out of this so i am gonna give one half invicta uh the pleasure of showing their replays first i'm gonna do a two-part video for this because i i kind of want to show a bunch of attacks on both sides um some really nice three stars in here. I think I was going to start off with JJ's attack on Sword. Uh, Sword is a brand new uh, 10. Uh, I think he has. No, it doesn't even have the army camps yet. Literally just has the town hall. Uh, so just straight up town hall 9. <clears throat> JJ is just a beast attacker. Okay. I am I am convinced that he just is our best Town Hall 9 attacker. He's never allowed to go. JJ, you're never allowed to go up to Town Hall 10, okay? Uh, watch this attack here. Sorry, i got to scroll down a bit. The Queen Walk goes down at the 6 o'clock location. Uh, really, I, I like how you drop that Giant just to buy that Wizard enough time to kill that Army Camp. You're going to start forcing the Queen Walk uh, up to about the 3 o'clock location. It's going to take some time. I like the early minions as well. Just recognizes um, how much time he has. Ideally, what he wants to do is kind of walk the Queen up here. And I think he ends up uh, sending in the Valks uh, at the 3 o'clock location as well. Uh, sent in a bunch of Hogs at the same time. Gets the uh, Lava Hound lured out of the CC. Also tri uh, triggers the DGB there. Uh, really nice play there, JJ. That was just awesome. Uh, yeah, the rage goes down, and here comes that golem, like I was saying, at 3 o'clock. Uh, Going to just bust into the wall here, get this uh, air defense. Go in and get this air defense, the queen, and work his way up to that last remaining air defense. And then he's got eight balloons for the backside. Uh, you see the king's going in now. Uh, Valks go in. More bombs are triggered. Uh, no no more hogs left though, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but all those Valks are just going to walk right in here, get the queen, get these air defense. Looking good. See this queen here that was almost dead? She's now back at full health for her second life of this raid, and she just mops up from the backside with all those Valks and that king in there tanking. <laughs> GG from this point. See this rage go down in the middle? I like that. Uh, queen doesn't get the benefit of it, but it doesn't matter. She is just rocking it from the back. Gets a little bit there for a second. And I see the balloons go in, take care of those remaining defenses. Uh, it's GG. I think there's only eight balloons. Probably didn't even need the balloons, to be honest. I bet he could have clean this up almost without the balloons but uh well done jj sexy attack nice tree see me crush beers canadian style too i always drink beers while i do recaps sexy nice job jj so we're gonna move down here sorry guys if i didn't show your tank if you didn't want me to show your base too bad we streamed it so you should be building new bases if we had an important war anyway. So my buddy Kadok here. Kadok had a six-star war, including a three-star on my base. Nice job, my friend. <clears throat> Frank's base is a little more well defended. Thought I'd show this one. Uh, brings the Valk attack here. I really kind of liked how 
the the precision on the jump placements here on this attack by Caddick, uh, and just the patience too, right? Like it creates a nice large funnel. Minions are down on that left side. Golems are starting to jump and go over the jump. <laughs> Lava Hound comes out, but it doesn't really matter because the Voss are going to go in there and do all the damage. The Queen gets locked up. Uh, that's what I like about when you bring Valks, uh, or one of the things, because I love Valks. So you guys know that. There's so many Valk attacks in the in the, this war, too. Um, but the Valks go in there and continue to DPS, right? Where if you don't, if you just go with like a stoned, you're not getting a lot of damage to the trash buildings, so your queen gets held up for a long time. But the Vox have cleared her a path. Now that this Lava Hound has burst, she's going to continue to move in there. Um, so that precision jump place that I was talking about, he controls the Vox so that they stay in those compartments right there. And he almost see those three Valks, the hero Valks jump in there. I think he's got one and a half Valks, not even like one Valk remaining. Take down that queen. The king would have eventually routed over there, but um, everything's taken care of. Here come the Hawks, right? From this 12 o'clock location, 11 o'clock location. Going to take out these outer point defense. It's really an archer tower, a wizard tower, and uh, air defense remaining. So, got it. Just kill this base, buddy. Nice job. Big time cleanup. Oh, I had a super long day too. I was up to like 1230 in the morning last night on our stream and then <laughs> up at 630 to go to work till 130 and then took a two hour break and then back till eight tonight and now it's like midnight still and I'm giving you this recap. So appreciate it. I just really wanted to test my webcam, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> moving on here, what else did I have? Uh, was it six? Yeah, hoodies attack here. <clears throat> so, uh, pretty much a max tax style. Uh, I like, uh, hoodie said this earlier in uh, line chat, like pretty much always looks to max attack first because it's a very very viable attack especially when you have high level heroes like this you can get good push in the base take up take out a couple air defense you know it's just like a bolstered shattered lalo really is, is all it is right so um the queen takes a bit of a walk here i'm pretty confident in saying he didn't mean for that to happen um uh, <laughs> but everything else moves in so it's okay at this point because really just needs to get that king in there take care of that queen um he already has that first air defense down yeah king goes in maybe he did mean for his queen to walk up there i don't know i find that somewhat hard to believe but maybe maybe he did no there's no way he did um but the king's done the job right like the queen goes down uh, this both air defenses are down. It still has the three lava, you know, standard shadow lalo or the standard lalo from this point. Um, you know, no big deal. Haste goes down. Wizard tower is about to go down. Really, he's, all he's got to worry about is this last air defense and kind of the wizard tower is on the way. Uh, Another Lava Hound goes in. Uh, oh, it reroutes at that point. <clears throat> Great reroute on that, though. They both get there at the same time. Uh, I think he's going to get a bust on both of those, which is absolutely perfect because he's got all those balloons moving in. Just going to absolutely crush the rest of his base. Air defense is about to go down. See you later. Does have those Teslas up there remaining, but... Really, there's just too many balloons for it. There's really a three-point defense for that many balloons. So many pops, too, all over the base, kind of cleaning up. He did get bursts on his lava hound. So, uh, nice, nice job on that hoodie. With the hood, with the hood, with the hood, and sweets. Look at all those pops, man. Beautiful. Three stars in the bag. Nice job, hoodie. Uh, what do we got next? 19? Warble. Buddy Warb. Just promoted to 2.0 not too long ago. Congrats, my friends. Bringing attacks like these. Another Valk attack, but I like the uh, the little walk you do here. Uh, so minions go down, start creating a little bit of a funnel. Queen walk goes down at the two, one, two o'clock location. 
just kind of going to take out these point defenses. Uh, she kind of moves into this open space, like kind of really just starts moving through all this stuff. Has the rage there too for her. Sends in the hog, gets out the lure, going to draw that lava hound right over to her, which is going to be no problem for her whatsoever. Oh, excuse me. But this huge kind of open gap just allows this queen to, to do whatever she wants. She's going to walk in here, take care of that defensive queen, like obviously all after this Lava Hound dies, um, and basically get the rest of this base. Because look, there's only the three point defense there and a wizard tower, right? So this whole section is now vulnerable once that queen's down. Uh, not not going to matter for the rest of the base because it's going to send in his king and a bunch of Valks to take care of that uh, take care of the double giant bomb locations in there. And the 12 hogs are going to mop up. So um, <laughs> taking a long time. Uh, the extra 30 seconds, I've said this before, the extra 30 seconds is just overpowered. It makes Queen Walk so ridiculously overpowered. So she takes out that air defense, going to continue to move in, take out that wizard tower. Like I said, the, this compartment does not stand a chance. Takes out the ar uh, archer tower. Tesla, huge value on this Queen Walk. And it doesn't matter how long it takes, like, like I said. So he goes ahead and sends the Valk portion in. Opens up the wall, sends in a golem. He's got eight Valks he's about to send in with his king here. There they go. He's got a jump spell he's about to drop take care of that king really move in like you can just tell there's double giant bombs in here jump spell goes down Valks are going to jump in after they take care of that king see this queen walk still going town hall's down another tesla in the bag it's going to uh, already use the rage finally she goes down but a huge huge portion got of that and the healers are going to walk on right over and start healing those start healing the golem actually sort of the uh, right back up like there's not much left for this of uh, this base take care of it for the 12 hogs he's about to send in <laughs> just a sexy chocolate attack orb oh just one hog there a few hogs there there's there's one compartment of defenses minus the cannon and archer tower over in the queen compartment there so it's gg from this point nice job horrible sexy attack a little bit of cleanup nice poison there too rage is the king Three stars in the bag. Nice job, buddy. Alrighty. A couple more down. Now Martin gets hit by LDP7. Swarm member. Uh, so now Martin has a little bit lower heroes, but uh, otherwise maxed out. Uh, based mostly lava walls, so that's looking good. <clears throat> And uh, LDP doesn't have a super high here, you know, 20 and 17, nothing too, too crazy. So um, really good matchup here, I thought. LDP brings a very sexy attack, does a little bit of archer trick, brings over that Lava Hound, takes care of it, goes ahead and drops the Earthquakes. Going to open up a big section right into that queen. Is going to send in those Valks, take out a huge, huge kind of location there. Um, I believe gets the, the bombs. Oh yeah, it goes in from uh, from the three o'clock. My bad. I thought it was going in from six there, um, but the idea is the jump's going to kind of get them in and just feed everything into the space. Here go the Valks. Everything's just going to kind of flood in here. Valks are going to get big value. Like, look how compact a lot of these uh, structures are. I mean, not not even just necessarily defenses, but just structures. So the Valks are doing so much damage in there. Like, you get such good value when the uh, when the structures are, are so compact like that. <clears throat> Sometimes, and I, I rarely bring a rage with my Valks as well because I find a lot of times um, if things aren't compact like that, uh, the Valks just run right through the right through the rage and it's wasted. So um, I'll always opt almost to bring that extra heal, but I might have brought a rage in this instance. As you can see, though, the Hogs going from nine, there's really only a hand, like as long as that Tesla goes down, uh, and that wizard tower goes down. The hogs are just going to rip through the rest of this. Archer trick is, or the healer, archer healer tricks going at the top still, no problem. King and queen both still have abilities. <laughs> LDP just ripped up this base. They're kind of walking uh, in the cleanup fashion here, though, but uh, I believe these hogs are just going to pit her out right on this Tesla. Fortunately, the, the goal and burst rate is the hogs got there. If it just lasted one more second, it would have gone a little bit faster, but no big deal. Like I said, still has the ability. He's going to fast forward this a little bit. 
Funny because I believe this lava hound does burst here, but right at the end. Maybe not. I lied. Nice attack, LDP. Sexy tree. Okay. One more, two more, two more. <laughs> Sparta. Sorry, buddy. Had to show the hog masters. Is he bringing a stone goho? What's in his CC? It's not a stone goho. He brings the witches, and here's why he brings the witches. This kind of newer open concept where you kind of separate your base. Witches can really exploit that. Um, the Wiz Tower, really right there, is the only one in good position to defend this because this is going to be down. That's not going to be in range, and that's not going to be in range to the very end. So Witches is going to get huge value going in through this core. Boom. Everything goes in. Rage goes down. MK just ripping up this entry. I like the jump placement there too. Golems stay right on this edge, so they kind of go in this compartment. The king, like that jump connected both. The king hops over to take care of the queen in, the, uh, in this compartment. Um, does some tanking for the hogs there. <laughs> just, I like the I, I like that split. I don't know, a lot of times you might not want your king to split like that, but I like how the king just hopped in. He's going to mop the rest of this up. Queen goes in. Look at the witch is still doing work through this little alleyway. Like I was, like, a, I guess that's what you call it. An alleyway of a base. Um, still just getting great value. That Wiz Tower, like I said, ends up finishing them off, but uh, got through like 50% of the base, almost 41% of the base before uh, before they went down. Finally rages up the Queen too. She's going to end up getting um, the Tesla and then I think goes down. She locks on that DE storage, but has a bunch of hogs that he's starting to send to this base. Triggers the DGB. Suicide hogs are successful and there's a Tesla, an Expo, and a Cannon, a couple Arch Towers remaining for like 15 hogs. Nice job, MK. I think this was like a third hit. And all defense, Sparta. Sorry, buddy. Sparta's taking a little bit of a vacation from Clash of Clans after the after this family scrim. So it's unfortunate. Unfortunate, but he will be back. Fast forward this one a little bit. Oh. Sexy tree, MK. Nice job, my friend. And one more. Yeah. What was this? 31. Rob. That's right. More Valks. Valks, Valks, and more Valks. I'm telling you. Really nice. Valks double jump, man. It's very, very hard to defend against. Uh, so you can see Rob's just going to go ahead, send in the shattered entry kind of across this 12 o'clock from like 11 to 1 sort of um, creates his funnel. Going to go ahead and open up that tip with the wall breakers. Sends in the wall breakers. This first jump is going to get him to a big piece of this base. And then the second jump is going to get him into the queen. Like if you look at what compartments the two jumps get him, it's like 95% of the base. So boom, first jump goes down. He doesn't, I think that was smart, actually, because you don't want them going in there. You know the queen's going to finish off that expo. It brings the balloons for the, for the wizard tower. So, yeah, he planned for that perfectly. Great jump placement. Uh, Valks do take a bit of a hike to that mortar, but come right back in, which is absolutely fantastic. Help take care of that golem. Stupid golems in the CC. Well, what are you supposed to do? So disheartened. Second jump goes down. Bam. Lets him in the rest of his base. Just going to walk right in, take care of those super high hit point structures in like a few swings. King, defensive king goes down. They're going to lock onto that queen. Boom, his king goes in. Rages up the king on the queen. Takes that out. Queen's going to, uh, or sorry, the Valks are going to continue to just shred the rest of this core. He's got 10 balloons. He's about to start sending in on the outer defenses. It is GG from this point. Very nice stack, Rob. Really like this one, buddy. Look very similar to a, an attack on a, a different base I saw earlier. I'm not sure, Rob. Maybe you can help me out on that one. Oh, it was my attack. Love you. <laughs> Clean up time. Hope. I'm getting summoned. I guess that was a little premature cleanup. Sorry about that. This is a pretty long video already, though. 
Three stars in the bag. Nice job, Robbie. So, Invicta. Nice job, gentlemen. Came away with the victory. Solid part one, I believe. I think it was like seven replays or something like that. We're probably going on like 25 plus minutes. So, uh, I'm going to call it a night. It's getting late, like I said at the beginning of the video. Um, absolutely exhausted. So, uh yeah, uh, part two, I should get taken care of. I have the next two days off, so that's that's awesome. Um, should have part two done tomorrow. Um, we'll probably get this one uploaded tomorrow and then vice versa with the 2.0 replay. So that'll do it for your wisdom from Wazers. Trying to help you bag that next three star. And until then, I'm out.